And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, Gerald Odette. Gerald Odette from Longueuil, Quebec, 0-2, Jason. A lot of people might look at the statistics and say this could be a lamb being led to slaughter. Are they correct? You could never say that. 0-2 versus 1-0. and These are young fighters, guys that look out for the course of a week in their training. You just can't tell. I mean, progress is made by leaps and bounds at this stage of his career. And when you look at Odette, he's extremely tall. Extremely, extremely tall for a featherweight. And that in and of itself, you know, that's an obstacle. You know, w whether he could capitalize on that, that remains to be seen. But don't be believed that 0-2 means you've got a soft touch. Never judge a book by their cover, as they say. Gerald Odette makes his way right here in the Hershey Center for his third professional fight, facing a man who has a lot of credentials behind him at the amateur ranks, and somebody who people are pointing to to be the future of the featherweight division in Canada, at least. Well, Tyler Asakine's got a tremendous pedigree. He was a, uh, a member of the Canadian national boxing team and earlier this year he won the prestigious ringside world championship in kansas city and this is his chance to shine in the ring and now ladies and gentlemen let's welcome to the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner tyler solstein tyler Asselstein won his first fight just a little under a month ago so he is certainly say that uh, fatigue might be a factor because he's so young in his career, but you gotta think, after going through training camp and then fighting twice in two months, is that a factor at all? Yeah, I don't think so. This stage of his career, these guys are young. And it was only a four round fight. He went the distance, he got the win. It, it wasn't like he went to a war to get it. It was a four round fight. It was a good workout. He got the win. You gotta keep momentum going for these young fighters. You know, as they progress, that's when the fights become fewer and far between. And the more you, the further you progress, the better you get, the bigger the money. That's when fights start to dry up. Here, here's the tale of the tape, Jason. And you see these guys, I mean, Odette, 10 years older than Asseltine. The height is the same, so that freaky height that Odette brings into the ring, offset by the fact that Asseltine, just as big as Odette, 125 weighed in. Asseltine did under the 126 pound limit for super featherweights and what you can't measure by the numbers is the pedigree of title acetide. Thomas Triber has the intros. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the Hershey Center in Mississauga, Ontario, and it is being brought to you by United Boxing Promotions along with their great sponsors, Wild Wing Restaurants, Peel Chrysler, Everlast, the Irish Embassy Pub, and Conjure Cognac. Our three judges assigned, scoring on a 10-point must system will be Jeremy Hayes, William Boodhoo, and Bobby Bell. When the bell rings our referee in charge, the third man in the ring will be John Wiley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with four rounds of boxing in the featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing red trunks with white trim and weighed in at 122 pounds. Coming to us from Longueuil, Quebec. Record consists of no wins with two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gerald Odell. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing red trunks and weighed in at 125 pounds. Hailing from Kingston, Ontario, he has a professional record of one win and no defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tyler Esselstein. All right, gentlemen, you've gone over the rules in the dressing room. Get yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. This is good, this is good, 
Touch glove. Good luck. So Asselstein takes on Odette. Asselstein, like we mentioned, a, a laundry list of credentials at the amateur level. Won the 2010 Ringside World Championship as a part of Team Canada in 2009. And he won his first fight in Montreal, Quebec. And you Close. see, obviously, right away, Asseltine coming out, Southpaw. There's a certain class to Asseltine. You look at him, and, then, and you can tell, yes, he's a prospect, but he's not a suspect. He's got skills that transcend the fact that he's only fighting in his second pro fight. I mean, he's a very polished, young, professional fighter. This will be four rounds in the featherweight division. Odat trying to keep Asselstein away with his long jab. But Asselstein finding ways to get inside. Nice little overhand uh, right cross there by Asselstein. Yeah, good hook. Asselstein got to be careful. Uh, almost, almost ate a right hand earlier by Odette coming in. And if you're a southpaw, you always got to be careful for the right hand. But Asselstein, wow. Look at the footwork of Asselstein. Closing that distance and then punishing Odette. Once he gets in that kill zone. Two punch, three punch combinations landing for Asselstein. Zodat trying to bob and weave away, but Asselstein still landing with that last power punch in each of his combinations. Yeah, both hands working for Asselstein. He just tattooed on that. The terrific straight left right on the chin. From the first half of this round, you can tell that the pedigree is certainly a little bit different among both fighters. Asselstein just looks to be a little bit more polished so far in this fight. Yeah, you have to like what you see out of Asselstein. He's, he's patient, but he's aggressive at the same time. And, uh, you know, his eyes, he's just looking at everything. And, Matt, there is malice in those shots. I love, I love the shot to the body he just landed on a dead. Changing up his punches and Odette doesn't know where those punches are coming from left and right and we saw Odette get staggered a little and got staggered once again Asselstein landing with the left and the right hand quick release as Asselstein again on the onslaught and it looks like he's a shark seeing blood in the water as he just continues to pick his punches and you know what he's landing with both hands but it's the, the variation of punches that he's landing as well up top with the hooks and the crosses but Coming up from underneath with the uppercuts as well. Asseltide, just a terrific performance so far in round one tonight. Nice counter cross there by Asselstein. The hook is working, the cross is working. Right now, it is a terrific performance again for Asselstein. Okafor has just got a fire. I mean, he, he's got he's got to get a jab going, and he's got to fire as Asseltine's coming in, because Asseltine's charging in without any fear whatsoever. I'm sure that's what his corner is going to tell him as this round is set to end. As Asseltine ends it with a fury flurry of his own and convincingly gets out of the first round. Great work by Asseltine. Just class, class combinations, class conditioning. You're looking at a fighter right now who looks far beyond just two professional fights. I mean, he looks like, he looks like he's, he's been in the ring at the professional at least five years. When he step, if he steps back, double up your left hand, stop it. If he dips. Well, this is a mark of the pedigree that Tyler Asselstein has achieved at the amateur level that he's able to translate into the professional ranks. And Geraldo Dad certainly in trouble in this fight. Let's take a look at some of Tyler's work in this round. But he established the jab. Right cro left cross was really went really well. Right hook as well. In and out, in and out. Really punishing Odette for three minutes in that first stanza. Second of four rounds underway. And Jason, easy selection. I'll guess you had Asselstein the victor yeah, in yeah. that round. E a easy, easy 10-9 round to score just outclassed Odette. Did it for him. I don't think he didn't do enough damage to get that extra 10-8 point, but a clear 10-9 round as you're ever going to see by Tyler Asselstein. Nice shot to the body there by Asselstein. Odette clearly on the defensive here as he continues to circle away from Asselstein, but Asselstein keeps finding him. And I think Asselstein, Asselstein realizes Odette is in survival mode 
right now and that he can pretty much walk forward and do what he wants to do in that ring. Just a debt not throwing with enough conviction to back Asselstein off at all right now. Nice hook again and another hook. And I love the way he turned right there. Asselstein just mixing in the angles, throwing one hand, turning his body in the position to throw with the other. It, it, it sounds like I'm gushing here, but we're just seeing an abundance of class out of this young fighter. As well as an abundance of speed. So not only is he outboxing Odat right now, but he's doing it with such velocity and such ferocity that the fans are rallying behind Asselstein in this bout. And it's not just raw fury. There's fury behind it. These are straight punishing punches. And there's no art to them. It's just from, from delivery to landing, just straight, hard, and fast. An uppercut there almost landed flush on the nose. And still a point, you know, he doesn't even have to land these punches. Nice shot to do there. damage, although that one was as flush as they come. Odad is bleeding from his nose. Odad is a game customer, let me tell you something. Asselstein is going to this off, and Odad has taped it some serious. And, you know, he's been buckled, but look at huge shot. shots, and he's still standing. Once again, right at this point, when do you say to end the fight? Well, you know, right now is where you got to step in. And there it is. The batting practice. I don't think Odad even threw a punch in that second round, one that landed anyway. And Tyler Asselstein convincing the that he is for real and convincing those at home as well. Two and zero oh goes hey, Tyler Asselstein. We're seeing some great performances out of young hungry fighter and that's you know if you're a fan of boxing that's really what you want to see yeah you want to see the superstars perform but if you're if you're hopeful for the future of the sport you want to see these young fighters step up and deliver and we're three for three tonight i mean we see three great performances by three hungry fighters and each one making a statement today and Asselstein just looks sensational. You're absolutely right Jason you want to see the future of tomorrow in the world of boxing quickly becoming the future of today take a look at Tyler Asselstein's work. Oh, you know just fury and accuracy boom 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 three punches landing right on the chin mixing up the hooks mixing up the jabs that straight left by Asselstein just on the money as a cross coming up from underneath with the uppercut and we see it here. Boom! Look at him turn. Look at him that land pivot that shot. Was, that pivot was pivotal. Part that of the punch. pivot was just sensational, and and uh, it really turned into just a beating of a very game of debt, but just Asselstein in a different class. Grid stoppage by referee John Wiley there. So an emphatic victory for Tyler Asselstein as he continues to grow his young career. Let's go to Thomas Triver, who's official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, John Wiley, stops the contest. Your winner by way of technical knockout, Tyler Asselstein. Let's take a look, or let's hear comments rather from Corey Erdman, who is with Asselstein. Here with Tyler Asselstein, your winner. And Tyler, in your first pro bout, it looked from your way to your first knockout. How does it feel to actually get it this time out? You know, it feels great. There's a lot of pressure on me to get this knockout, and finally it came. Now, it looked like the uppercut was the beginning to the end. After you're throwing a lot of straight lefts, they were all landing. Is that something you've been working on in the gym? How important is that to your arsenal? Well, that uppercut was just a little fake to get him to think that I'm going low, and then I came upstairs to help finish me off. Now, you dealt with something tonight that you're not going to have to deal with very much in the featherweight division, a taller fighter. How are you able to neutralize that height difference this time out? So with my jab, just keeping on my range, find my range, and then finally the shots came. And, you know, he was a very awkward fighter. And what is it like being in there with a fighter that isn't really throwing a jab? How difficult is it to mix with a style that's just so awkward that's nothing you've ever seen? 
gym before. I know, it was very awkward. I just had to wait for it, wait for it, keep throwing things, get him to throw something, and that's when I land my shots. Last question for you, Tyler. You're clearly ahead of the pack, having such a, a great amateur pedigree. What's next for you? What can we expect in the near future? Uh, whatever Adam Harris has in store for me. We're looking forward to that. Tyler Hasselstein, you're a winner. Arda and Jason, back to you.